which has faced Thompson like that. Thomism. In the 1950s, the television industry was growing, and Western shows were in high demand. One such show was Cheyenne, which aired on ABC from 1955 to 1963. The casting process for this series was crucial to its success. And here's how the key actors were chosen for their roles. Clint Walker, who played the lead role of Cheyenne Bodie, was discovered by a talent scout while working as a doorman in a nightclub. He was chosen for his imposing physique and rugged good looks, which were perfect for the role of a tough, wandering cowboy. Co-starring with Walker was Diane Brewster, who played the role of Miss Dory. Brewster had already made a name for herself in television, having appeared in several popular shows of the time. She was chosen for her acting abilities and her chemistry with Walker, which was evident from their first scene together. The casting of the supporting characters was also crucial to the show's success. Producers looked for actors who could embody the spirit of the Old West and bring authenticity to their roles. They found these qualities in actors like L.Q. Jones, who played the role of the villainous outlaw, and Dan Blocker, who played a recurring role as a lovable, slow-witted ranch hand. Auditions for the show were rigorous, with producers looking for actors who could handle the physical demands of the role as well as bring depth and nuance to their characters. Chemistry tests were also an essential part of the casting process, as producers wanted to ensure that the actors would work well together on screen. One pivotal moment in the casting process came when Walker was injured during the filming of the show's first episode. Producers considered replacing him, but Walker's performance had already won over audiences, and they decided to wait for him to recover. This decision paid off, as Walker went on to become one of the most popular Western stars of the time. In conclusion, the casting process for Cheyenne was a careful and deliberate one, with producers looking for actors who could bring authenticity, chemistry, and talent to their roles. The result was a show that captured the spirit of the Old West and became a beloved classic of the genre. Some land and growing some fruit. Apples, maybe. How'd you come to settle on apples? The director of the 1955 TV series Cheyenne, Richard L. Bear, brought the story to life with his unique vision and style. Bear was influenced by the classic Western films of the time and aimed to create a series that felt authentic and gritty. He achieved this by using real locations for shooting and employing a naturalistic acting style for the cast. Bear's approach to directing was hands-on, working closely with the cast and crew to ensure that every detail was just right. He encouraged the actors to fully embody their characters, often giving them freedom to improvise and add their own touches to their performances. Bear also worked closely with the cinematographer to create a distinct visual style for the series, using wide shots to capture the vastness of the western landscape and close-ups to convey the emotions of the characters. Collaboration was key to Bear's success as a director. He worked closely with the writers to develop the storylines and ensure that they were visually compelling. He also worked closely with the production design team to create realistic sets and costumes that added to the authenticity of the series. Bear's directorial vision for Cheyenne was to create a Western series that felt real and raw, avoiding the stereotypes and cliches that were prevalent in the genre at the time. He succeeded in doing so, creating a series that resonated with audiences and left a lasting impact on the Western genre. Bear's approach to directing, with his focus on collaboration, naturalistic acting, and visual storytelling, helped to establish Cheyenne as a landmark TV series that continues to be celebrated today. The accused can ask to be held over for jury. Cheyenne, a 1955 TV series, features the adventures of an ex-gunfighter named Cheyenne Bodie. The show's enduring qualities, such as its compelling storylines, memorable characters, and high production standards, make it an everlasting symbol of the industry. Many fascinating facts about this series are yet to be discovered. For instance, did you know that the show's theme song, The Cheyenne Theme, was composed by none other than Henry Mancini, who also created the iconic Pink Panther theme? Moreover, Clint Walker, who played Cheyenne Bodie, was so tall that the producers had to build special horses for him to ride. Do you have a most cherished memory or personal experience related to Cheyenne? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. As the series progressed, it tackled various social issues, including racism 
and the mistreatment of Native Americans, making it a groundbreaking show for its time. These elements, combined with its classic Western themes, have helped Cheyenne stand the test of time and remain a beloved series for generations of viewers. Tune in to learn more surprising and captivating facts about Cheyenne. And as long as people turn their backs and pretend that what's going on is none of their business, it'll... The 1955 TV series Cheyenne, starring Clint Walker, was filmed primarily in the American West, taking advantage of the region's natural beauty and rugged landscapes. The production design team faced the challenge of creating a realistic and immersive setting for the show's cowboy drama. They paid great attention to detail when constructing the various frontier towns, saloon, and ranches featured in the series. One notable location for Cheyenne was the Iverson Movie Ranch in Chatsworth, California, which served as the backdrop for numerous Western productions. The crew had to navigate the logistical challenges of filming in remote areas, including arranging for transportation, lodging, and equipment. To enhance the visual appeal of the series, the production team employed innovative techniques and technologies. For instance, they used the then-new VistaVision widescreen format, which provided a more expansive, and cinematic image than traditional TV screens. This format helped to showcase the stunning vistas and action-packed scenes of Cheyenne. Additionally, the show's creators utilized the recently developed Eastman color process, which allowed for more vibrant and lifelike colors. This technology significantly improved the overall look of the series, making it stand out among other Western TV productions of the time. Despite the logistical challenges and the need for innovative techniques, the production team of Cheyenne successfully created a captivating and immersive Western experience for its audience. The combination of realistic set design, striking locations, and cutting-edge technology contributed to the show's enduring popularity and success. What's the best hotel in town? Well, there's only but one, the Palace, right down the street. Thanks. The Western television series Cheyenne premiered in 1955, produced by William Moore and developed by Roy Huggins for Warner Brothers and the ABC Network. It was the first hour-long adult Western, addressing significant issues such as the aftermath of the Civil War, the taming of the West, and the treatment of Indian tribes. The show's main character, Cheyenne Bodhi, was played by Clint Walker, who brought to life a wandering hero, always ready to help those in need. Cheyenne's backstory is deeply rooted in the tribal history of the Cheyenne Nation. After his family was massacred in a wagon train, he was made a blood brother and raised by the Cheyenne tribe. This experience taught him the moral values of honor, integrity, and fairness, which shaped his character throughout the series. The success of Cheyenne can be attributed to the collaboration of producers, writers, directors, and actors who created a high-quality show. Clint Walker's portrayal of Cheyenne Bodhi was a masterstroke, as he embodied the manly virtues that were often lacking in the world at that time, Walker's charisma and ability to create an emotional field made him a true gift of the spirit. Walker's astrological chart, with a Venusmer's conjunction in Cancer and a Neptune in Leo's sextile is Gemini Mercury, further explains his larger-than-life persona. His acting style, suited for action roles, and his kind, good, and strong silent type, was a refreshing change from the nasty-minded, misanthropic, dystopic content that was prevalent in Hollywood at the time. In conclusion, Cheyenne was a groundbreaking Western series that addressed significant historical issues and provided a hero that people could look up to. Clint Walker's portrayal of Cheyenne Bodhi was a masterstroke as he embodied the virtues of a true hero, leaving a lasting impact on the audience. I, I haven't even thanked you for... The creation of a musical score and soundtrack for a film or TV series is a collaborative process between composers, musicians, and producers. In the case of the 1955 TV series Cheyenne, the music played a crucial role in complementing the narrative and emotional tone of the show. The show's composers and musicians worked diligently to create music that would enhance the viewer's experience and draw them into the story. The score featured a mix of traditional Western music and orchestral arrangements, which helped to establish the show's setting and atmosphere. Composer David Budolph, who worked on Cheyenne, was known for his ability to create music that perfectly matched the tone of a scene. He used a variety of instruments, including strings, brass, and percussion, to create a rich and dynamic sound. 
The music was often melancholic and introspective, reflecting the inner struggles of the show's protagonist, Cheyenne Buddy. The soundtrack also featured popular songs of the time, which helped to establish the show's historical context. These songs were carefully selected to complement the narrative and emotional tone of each episode. For example, the use of folk songs and ballads helped to underscore the themes of freedom, adventure, and the great outdoors. The musicians involved in the creation of the score and soundtrack for Cheyenne were highly skilled and experienced. Many of them had worked on other Western TV shows and movies, bringing their expertise and knowledge to the project. They worked closely with the composers to ensure that the music was tightly integrated with the visuals and the story. In conclusion, the creation of the musical score and soundtrack for Cheyenne was a complex and collaborative process. The composers and musicians worked together to create music that complemented the narrative and emotional tone of the show, using a mix of traditional Western music and orchestral arrangements. The result was a rich and dynamic soundtrack that helped to bring the world of Cheyenne to life. Yeah, yeah, I guess the joke's on us. In the early days of Cheyenne, the lead character had a sidekick named Smitty, played by LQ, Jones. However, Smitty only appeared in the first three episodes before being dropped from the show. The main character, Cheyenne, continued his adventures alone for the rest of the series. Clint Walker, the actor who played Cheyenne, had a contract dispute with Warner Brothers. The dispute centered around Walker's personal appearance fees and his ability to sign with a record company of his choosing. After a brief absence, Walker and Warner Brothers reached an agreement, and he returned to the show. During the show's run, many of the Indian characters were played by white actors, which was common in Western television shows and movies of that time period. This casting practice may have been due to a lack of representation or opportunities for Native American actors in the entertainment industry. Overall, Cheyenne was a groundbreaking show that paved the way for future Western television series. Despite its challenges, the show remained a popular choice among viewers and continues to be watched and enjoyed today. A man that knows the Indians as well as you do can come in mighty handy. You can get us through. One of the most iconic scenes in the 1955 TV series Cheyenne is from the episode Johnny Bravo, where Cheyenne confronts a ruthless landowner, Bart Cordell. The scene is a tense standoff in a dimly lit saloon with the camera focusing on the two actors' faces, highlighting their intense expressions. Director Richard L. Baer uses low-key lighting to create a menacing atmosphere, with only a few light sources illuminating the characters' faces. The camera angles are strategic, with close-ups of Cheyenne and Cordell's faces, highlighting their emotions and the tension between them. Clint Walker's performance in this scene is remarkable. He portrays Cheyenne as a tough, resilient character unafraid to stand up to the ruthless landowner. Walker's facial expressions and body language convey Cheyenne's determination and confidence, making the audience root for him. Douglas Kennedy's performance as Cordell is equally impressive. He portrays the character as a menacing, cold-hearted villain with a chilling smile that sends shivers down the spine. Kennedy's delivery of his lines is perfect, with just the right amount of arrogance and malice. The impact of this scene on the audience is significant, the tension between Cheyenne and Cordell is palpable, and the audience is on the edge of their seats, waiting to see who will come out on top. The scene is a testament to the show's ability to create suspense and drama, and it is a prime example of the high-quality storytelling that made Cheyenne a hit. According to director Richard L. Baer, the scene was carefully planned and executed. We wanted to create a sense of tension and suspense and we knew that the key to doing that was through the performances and the camera work, he said. We spent a lot of time rehearsing the scene, working on the camera angles and lighting to create the right atmosphere. Clint Walker also spoke about the scene in an interview. It was a challenging scene to shoot, but I knew that it was important to the story, he said. I worked closely with Doug to create the right level of tension and conflict, and I think it paid off in the end. Overall, the iconic scene from Cheyenne's Johnny Bravo episode is a masterclass in direction, performance, and cinematography. It is a powerful example of the show's ability to create suspense and drama, and it is a testament to the talents of the actors and filmmakers involved. Look, I'd 
be willing to take a chance at the water hole. Clint Walker, the star of Cheyenne, stood out among his TV Western peers as he never experienced a whipping on the show. However, he did have several intense fistfights with the formidable Leo Gordon. In the first year of Cheyenne, many episodes were remakes of Warner Brothers Western films, allowing the studio to reuse footage and save money. Despite this, Walker's performances were always memorable, and his on-screen fights with Gordon were particularly noteworthy. These remakes were a common practice in the television industry during that time, and Cheyenne was no exception. Even with the use of existing footage, Walker's portrayal of Cheyenne Bodie remained a fan favorite. The 1955 TV series Cheyenne, starring Clint Walker, had a significant cultural and social impact. The show was one of the first major hits for the nascent medium of television and helped to establish the Western genre as a staple of the small screen. Audiences were drawn to the show's exciting stories of life on the frontier and Cheyenne's portrayal of the title character, a complex and morally ambiguous hero, was a departure from the traditional white hat heroes of earlier Westerns. This more nuanced portrayal of the main character resonated with viewers and helped to make the show a hit. Cheyenne also had a notable impact on popular culture. The show's success helped to popularize the Western genre and its influence can be seen in later TV shows and movies. Additionally, the show's theme music, the Cheyenne theme, became a popular hit and is still recognized today. The series also contributed to discussions on relevant social and cultural themes. The show tackled issues such as the treatment of Native Americans and the challenges of life in the American West. While the show did not always take a progressive stance on these issues, its willingness to engage with them was notable for the time. Overall, Cheyenne was a groundbreaking TV series that had a significant impact on both the cultural and social landscape of the 1950s and beyond. Its exciting stories, complex characters, and engagement with relevant social issues helped to establish the Western genre on television and continue to be influential today. Long in this town, they're not our kind of people. In the long-running TV series Cheyenne from 1955, the main character, Cheyenne, and his pistol made an appearance in a 1963 episode of 77 Sunset Strip. The character Cal Jasper borrowed Cheyenne's gun in that episode. Actor Clint Walker, who played Cheyenne, was known for taking his shirt off in many episodes, showcasing his muscular physique. However, in the final season of the show, he kept his shirt on throughout the 13 episodes. Walker's character was also associated with a horse named Brandy, which he rode in both the Cheyenne episodes and Warner Brothers movies. Brandy was a distinctive horse, standing at 16 hands high with a white spot on his right rump. This horse became an iconic symbol of the show and was easily recognizable to viewers. The attention to detail in the show, such as the unique markings of Brandy, added to the overall appeal of the series. Think of cheap jewelry and cheap perfume. On Cheyenne, a 1955 TV series, received positive critical reception and had a significant impact on the Western genre. The show's in-depth exploration of its characters and storylines distinguished it from other Westerns of the time. The New York Times praised Cheyenne for its admirable performances and exceptionally good writing. The review highlighted the show's ability to balance action and character development, making it appealing to a wide audience. Audience reactions were also overwhelmingly positive. Viewers appreciated the series' complex characters and engaging plots, which provided a fresh take on the Western genre. The show's success led to a long run, with 108 episodes over six seasons. Cheyenne was also recognized with several awards and nominations. In 1956, the show received an Emmy nomination for Best Western Series. While it didn't win, the nomination itself was a testament to the show's quality and influence. These accolades were significant for those involved in the series. They not only validated the hard work and creativity that went into making Cheyenne, but also helped establish the show as a benchmark for Western television. The positive reception and awards have left a lasting legacy, inspiring future Western series and solidifying Cheyenne's place in television history. What else? Both men well help you. In the first season of Cheyenne, the
The recurring character of Smitty was dropped after only three episodes due to criticism from sponsors and critics. The character was seen as making the show too juvenile, with Variety describing it as almost strictly kiddie affair. Producer Roy Huggins was hired to change this, and his first decision was to remove Smitty, transforming Cheyenne into a solitary drifter. Interestingly, three of the four main actors from Bonanza appeared on Cheyenne in the mid-1950s. Michael Landon, Dan Blocker, and Lauren Green each appeared in two episodes, while Pernell Roberts did not. Ray Teal, who would later portray Sheriff Roy Coffey in Bonanza, was also a cast member in one of the episodes featuring Michael Landon. Additionally, Ron Miller auditioned for the role of Cheyenne. However, the actor who ultimately landed the part remains unknown. These facts provide a glimpse into the early days of Cheyenne and its connections to other popular Western television shows of the time. During the filming of Cheyenne, the 1955 TV series, the cast and crew faced many challenges and shared memorable experiences. The show star, Clint Walker, was known for his towering height, which sometimes caused problems. In one scene, Walker had to ride through a narrow cabin doorway, but his shoulders were too wide, requiring the crew to remove part of the doorframe. The series was shot on location in California's Vasquez Rocks, where the crew had to deal with extreme temperatures and harsh weather conditions. Actor LQ, Jones recalled that during the filming of one episode, a sudden rainstorm turned the set into a muddy mess, causing production delays and logistical headaches. Despite these challenges, the cast and crew formed a close-knit community. Actor and stuntman Chuck Hayward, who worked on the show, remembered that the cast would often gather around a campfire after a long day of filming, sharing stories, and enjoying each other's company. Director Richard L. Baer, who directed several episodes of Cheyenne, was known for his meticulous attention to detail. He would often spend hours setting up shots and working with the cast to ensure that each scene was perfect. Bear's dedication to the show was evident in the final product, which was praised for its high production values and engaging storylines. Overall, the making of Cheyenne was a memorable experience for all involved. Despite the challenges and hardships, the cast and crew formed a strong bond and created a show that would become a classic of the Western genre. Talking so we can't hear you. The television series Cheyenne, which first aired in 1955, holds a significant place in TV history as it was the first original series produced by a major Hollywood film studio, Warner Brothers. This Western genre show proved to be the longest running of the Warner Brothers family of Westerns, lasting for seven seasons. The lead actor, Clint Walker, who played the role of Cheyenne Bodie, had a real-life connection to law enforcement before his acting career. He had worked as a deputy sheriff which perhaps added authenticity to his portrayal of Cheyenne, taking on various temporary law enforcement positions throughout the show. In summary, Cheyenne was a groundbreaking television series, both for its origins and its longevity. The show's lead actor, Clint Walker, brought a sense of realism to his role, having been a deputy sheriff before becoming an actor. With you? We was just leaving. Come along, dear, back to the bar. Come along, scoop. Come on. A lot of woman, that. The 1955 TV series Cheyenne, starring Clint Walker, made a significant impact on the Western genre of television and film. As one of the first major shows in the genre, it set the stage for future Western themed series and movies. Cheyenne's portrayal of the American West, its characters, and its storytelling all contributed to its influence on the film industry. Cheyenne's legacy can be seen in the numerous Western series that followed in its footsteps, such as Gunsmoke, Bonanza, and The Big Valley. These shows built upon the foundation laid by Cheyenne, further exploring the Western frontier and its complexities. Additionally, Cheyenne paved the way for the development of the anti-hero in Westerns, a character archetype that would become prevalent in future productions. The series also had an impact on filmmaking through its use of location shooting and high production values. Cheyenne's stunning visuals, often captured on location in the American West, demonstrated the potential of television as a storytelling medium and inspired other productions to follow suit. Subsequent works inspired by Cheyenne include movies like The Searchers, The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly, and Unforgiven, all of which draw upon the themes and character archetypes established by the TV series. 
in this way. Cheyenne's influence extends beyond television and into the world of cinema. In conclusion, Cheyenne's lasting legacy and influence can be seen in the many Western series and films that followed in its footsteps, as well as in the development of the anti-hero and the increased use of location shooting in the genre. The series' impact on filmmaking and its contributions to the Western genre ensure its place in film history. I didn't order you to camp here. You can go 20 miles more for all I care. In 1955, the television landscape was changed with the introduction of the first hour-long Western, Cheyenne. This show, which would later inspire the name of actor Cheyenne Jackson, was more than just a Western. It was a cultural phenomenon. The lead actor, Clint Walker, showcased his singing talents in the 1959 episode. The Durango Brothers, revealing a surprising baritone voice that fans had not heard before. That same year, Walker released an album of inspirational songs, further demonstrating his versatility. Beyond its impact on the entertainment industry, Cheyenne left a lasting impression on its audience. Its extended runtime allowed for more in-depth storytelling, setting it apart from other westerns of the time. The show's enduring popularity is a testament to its quality and the timeless appeal of the western genre. In summary, Cheyenne was a groundbreaking television series that offered more than just western action. Its hour-long format, memorable characters, and talented lead actor made it a standout show that continues to be celebrated today. Oh, I don't suppose a young lady like you would quite understand what I'm talking about. I've always understood you completely. Now, In the popular 1950s TV series, Cheyenne, Clint Walker, who played the lead role, did not go bare-chested in every episode as many believe. In fact, he only appeared without his shirt in 25 out of the 107 episodes. The series underwent a change for a few seasons, becoming The Cheyenne Show, where Cheyenne shared the screen with Sugarfoot and Bronco, rotating weekly. Cheyenne's name has an interesting backstory. The Cheyenne Indians were responsible for the death of his parents, but they took him in and raised him, leading him to adopt their name. This fascinating detail adds depth to the character and the series narrative. Storekeeper a drink too. Everybody drinks with John Denver. <laughs> we got an alliance now and a fellow In the 1955 TV series Cheyenne, the lead actor, Clint Walker, experienced a life-threatening incident during the filming of the episode Country Girl. A malfunctioning prop gun accidentally fired, striking Walker in the abdomen. The injury was severe, and Walker had to undergo surgery, which led to a six-week break in filming. This incident not only halted the production of the series, but also put the life of the actor in grave danger, leaving a tragic and shocking mark in television history. This man's been a soldier more. If the 1955 TV series Cheyenne left an impression on you, we'd love to hear your stories. Share your memories and experiences related to this groundbreaking show. How did it affect you personally? In what ways did it shape your view of cinema? Your engagement is vital to us. Whether it's through likes, shares, or subscriptions, your interaction helps us continue our exploration of classic television. We're eager to create a space where we can all reminisce and appreciate the influence of Cheyenne and other shows of its era. So, don't hesitate to contribute to the conversation. Join us as we delve into the world of classic television and let's celebrate the enduring impact of Cheyenne together. I'm gonna take it off of you. I'm gonna see it.